I remember the days playing sick at school. My stomach hurt. That would be my move. Should we call your dad? No, not that dude. How about your granny? Yeah, that'll be cool. Yeah, you see, okay. she from the old school, the old South. So you might just find a little squirrel, a little rabbit in your soup. And if you had a cold, you might just find a little lemon, a little cod liver oil, a little whiskey just to help you regroup. And sometimes, sometimes we rode them once boycotted buses downtown of Birmingham just for something to do. And she sat proudly in the front. But now there are them school buses, we rushes to cut the food to sit in the back. And sometimes, sometimes we went downtown to those department stores that once hung no colored signs. She said, child, no matter how dark it get, that little light of yours just let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine. Oh, she was my superhero. Superman could stay in the booth. Plus she was the only one I trust to pull my loose tooth. Somehow she made it not hurt. She had 13 miles to feed, sometimes 17, including the neighbor kids, and somehow she made it work. And it wasn't a Sunday that we didn't go to church. She said, if you could party hard on a Saturday night, you could wake up Sunday morning and give God a little time for your life. Can I get an amen? Amen. You see, she was raising amen. <laughs> and sometimes I thought we stayed too long to shout in the spirit the song. But it was only making my faith strong because doubt kills desire which destroys hope. You'll find yourself walking in circles, chasing dreams, just blown up in smoke. And we got to stay prayed up even when times are hard. And don't question where I got my heart. My granny taught me to give when I didn't have. Most folks said that's some crazy math. But see, we was walking on a different path. And I remember walking the path to the candy lady. I remember grandma having a prayer means in her front room, blessed doors and Bible screaming, sweet Lord Jesus, save them babies because crackhead done took over the 80s, made the elders prisoners of their own home. They couldn't even sit on the porch without some fear of a young buck come shooting it up. I was taught if you disrespect your elders, your days would be cut short. Oh yes, we was poor, but we kept a clean floor. And how dare you not open up her door, black or white. And I learned that some peanut butter and jelly helped them empty bellies throughout the night. And I learned that around the age of three, the three braided switches would help you behave. They told my grandma that she was three days away from her grave. But we pushed her out that hospital and she smiled and waved. And she sent me a message to bring her some ice cream and Kool-Aid. And my smile was that big. She taught me the definition of success. And it was don't quit, never give. She said even in defeat, keep your head up. Because we know the taste of victory is sweet. There's no such thing as bad luck. And I remember her watching me come and chase a ball. So why could I not be there to pick her up when she fall? Oh, it's my name that she can't recall. She say stand tall. Every morning she fix me two slices of turkey bacon, eggs, and grits. So every morning I fix her two slices of sausage, breakfast, and bed. And when I was a baby, she changed my diaper followed by Johnson & Johnson baby powder. So every morning I change her diaper and I assist her with a shower. It's just the days of doing God. God's work in God's garden taking care of one of his flowers because she is so beautiful oh, yeah. to me. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah? You got it. I got it? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give me five days. Mm -hmm. Damn me up. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>